What up, what up? Gons here. In this video, I'm answering a question that I saw on uh, the Discord page over in Serato, where a person asked, if you're using Serato sample to create a stem, whether you're using a melody or what have you, um, how do I go about extracting that? So I'm going to show you guys in Ableton using Serato sample, um, you know, the plugin. And so... First things first is you load Serato sample into a deck. You can't just throw in sample into an audio track. You have to, you know, you have to put it into its own specific track. Then you load the audio file. And then let me just get a track of, of mine, shameless plug, and open it up. So now we have it in here. So let me delete this. It was just more of an example. Okay, so now we have this, and I'm going to create one cue. We are powerful within our so we have that. So what I'm going to do is just remove the melody and the bass on it. And I'm going to create a cue that's right here. The powerful within our movement, a snapshot of patience on the prowl, demonstrating know how, passed down through the generations. I mind myself and keep concentration. You keep fucking with me. Oh. Found a path and so I have that. So what I'm gonna do is create a mini clip. So I'm gonna go. Um oh yeah. There we go. I forgot you have to hold this and create a clip from there. And you could extend it out if you want to. So now you have this at the bottom. Sorry, trying to maneuver everything here so you guys can see what's going on. Sorry. So we have that. We have that. You can see here. That's where that's at. So what I would do is click on that to create a clip. Because I have it in this hold mode, you have to actually stretch out this MIDI. And you can see that it's now creating multiples of that because I didn't give it the uh, loop length here. I only set it to one bar, so that's why it's going to constantly repeat. Powerful within our movement, a snapshot. Powerful within our movement. So that's what you don't want to do on that. What I should do is take loop off down here just a little section right on this area get this bracket and then just extend this out let's extend it all the way out so now if i took this clip and dragged it it'll keep playing all the way across the powerful within our movement a snapshot of patience on the prowl demonstrating know how see, passed down through the generations this. I mind myself and keep concentration you keep fucking with me say more the rock for all light forms be on my wings fair. and it goes on till about maybe i'm gonna say three minutes or two and a half that's one way that you can do it if you have this mode selected now we have this other mode that's trigger mode where i don't have to make such a long clip as far as a long bar like that what i would do with this situation is now see i just kind of zoomed in a little bit whoops accidentally hit the wrong hotkey don't do that all right go back double click on the clip and then we have right there Powerful with powerful with a powerful within our movement, a snapshot of patience on the prowl, demonstrating yeah. know how passed down through the generations. Yeah, I'm still myself playing. and keep concentration. Your power, 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 power. Okay, so see now how I can even just make this even smaller, and it's gonna keep playing all the way till it's done. So now. The powerful within our movement, now the snapshot of patience on the prowl, demonstrating know how, passed down through the generations. I mind myself and keep concentration. You keep fucking with me. Oh. Found a path. So I'm gonna make this a little bit shorter, like right here, 
And so now if I want to export this little section, I can go to, I'm going to go to file at the top, which you might not see. Um, I'm going to say export audio or video. So in Ableton, it's going to give you this option here. So our start is at bar number nine right here. And the length is eight bars. I could make that further and it'll extend it further out. But it tries to find the amount of audio that it, it captures in that length to give you this number here. But you could change it. So now I'm just going to do MP3, export, test, sample. Do that. So now let's go back and try to play that, which is right here, test sample. And this just has the vocal and the drums. And that's it. So that's all you'd have to do. So the key component is load your plugin, load in the track, create your cue or your chop point, however you want to call it. And then you have to just decide, are you going to do the trigger mode or the hold mode? Or you have to extend the clip for it to play. Cause if you don't, it's going to stop. And then from there you go to export and then you tell the program, um, how long do you want the export to be like the whole thing that you did a certain section and then that's it. So hopefully that helps. I'm um, just want to do this quick video kind of unscripted, um, but wanted to help somebody out. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And if anyone finds an even easier way, I am not the end all be all of all of this. Um, I'm just here to try to share what I know. And if someone has a better option, let, let me know in the comments and we're just here to help each other out. So I'm gone. You guys take care. Peace out.